I've got to give credit in this video to my wife. My wife's been, um, you can see her here, and uh, she's extremely smart and very, very pretty, as you can see. She's been a, uh, a tutor for many, many years. She's been working with kids, all types of kids, fast learners, slow learners, troubled, troubled kids, kids with learning disabilities, all types, really. And uh, she's developed quite a reputation. She, she knows, really, how to work with, with all types of children. And, I, and we started talking about fish keeping. I told her that I thought that fish keeping was needed more than ever with, with kids. And I had some ideas why that was. And I wanted to go over them with her. And, and we started bouncing ideas back and forth. Why? Why would fish keeping be so valuable, so valuable to children now more than ever, more, more than ever before, fish keeping is of, of importance and should be part of, of kids' lives. We came up with a list, and I want to go ahead and share that list with you because I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. And the first, the first thing that, that, that we came up with was uh, children being able to experience the joy of creating something from nothing. So, you know, you go with your parents, you go to the pet store, you, you pick up a, a, you know, a small glass box, you pick up some substrate, you pick up, uh, you know, maybe some water conditioner, a heater, uh, a, a small sponge filter, a pump. Bit by bit, you you put together this living, this living cube that is now supporting, you know, snails and maybe a goldfish or whatever that, maybe a maybe a glowfish, whatever that first fish might be, uh, is now supporting this, and it actually uh, came about from idea to actual creation. And that, that's, that's just something that a lot of kids don't really experience these days in a sort of a push button TikTok kind of world, right? The other thing that came up was uh, imagination. She runs into so many kids that are just completely and, and, and utterly bored if, if something isn't being fed to them, like a story or, or, or something, a video or something isn't being fed to them. They, they don't really have the ability to sit down and, for example, read a book and actually, in, in their own mind, create the scenes. They become very bored and they, they don't want they don't, to, they don't hang in there. So this, this imagination, okay, how do you want to decorate the tank? Do you want to have some, some wood? Do you want the wood stacked? Do you want to have plants? How do you want those plants? What kind of fish do you want to keep in there? Should we, should we paint the back of it? And, and having the kid actually come up with these things, come up with with like a, a canvas to their painting, right? Imagination, so vital and so missing in so many aspects today of what uh, is what is being done by children because everything is just sort of prepackaged and fed to them like a video or, you know, or some type of an electronic game, right? Also the idea, the idea of, of effort, work, done in a, in, a, in a sequence of steps resulting in an outcome. The other thing is uh, an outcome based on, on actions, right? So sequential thinking that is, is in order, that makes sense, right? You put the water, you put the conditioner, you, you heat the water, you bring about beneficial bacteria, you add the fish, sequence and and things done in a certain order and how each step results in an outcome so so how actions actually result in some sort of consequence or outcome and that's uh, outcomes is something that is not necessarily thought of that much you know and another thing my wife brought up was empathy having the empathy for another living thing uh, putting something in that in that glass box, caring for it, perhaps watching it get sick, perhaps watching it die, uh, and then stick sticking to it. So empathy for a living thing and a stick to itiveness so that after, let's say you make a mistake, you learn from the mistake, and then you continue in the hobby as opposed to I give up, my goldfish died, I give up. No, what did we do wrong? Let's learn about it 
and then let's let's stick to it and continue in the hobby. That's a very very important lesson, and that these are these are all lessons that'll that'll go forward in life, right? Thinking in terms of of actions and consequences, thinking in terms of uh, outcomes that were not positive, but then learning occurs and then an, a, a positive outcome occurs. So all these like really vital, vital lessons. There's some things that are obvious too, math, chemistry, right? Whether you're measuring a teaspoon or you're trying to figure out the weight of a certain number of gallons or the, the capacity of a certain tank based on the dimensions of the tank. These all require like thinking and math and, and uh, what, how much, how much conditioner to add, how much, how, how much in meds do we add. All these are like chemical, chemical things that, that have to be understood. And so this is, all, this is all really vital. And again, lessons that will be taken, taken on into life. The creating of a bond between the parent and the child, that's, that's really important. And in today's families, very often it's, you know, you've got two parents working, a kid is at school, it's all very just, it, it's just the, the absolute, absolute minimum of communication. Uh, you know, get your homework done, get ready for bed, come, come down and eat dinner. And, and so it, you get more communication going about different things. This is very, very important. Patience. My wife said, oh boy, kids lack patience. She has trouble with kids having patience. And even in tutoring, they lose their patience. And so having patience, fish keeping involves a, a tremendous amount of patience. Whether you're growing out fish, whether you're raising, or, um, or, uh, you're raising some fry, or uh, you know, the, the aquarium is getting ready to add fish, all these things are, are issues that deal with patience. So that's really important. So patience was an important one, and attention span. She found that a lot of the kids she works with these days have very, very short attention spans. And maybe this is the, the, the TikTok brain chemistry, but they, they, they just have a real short attention span. And, and that doesn't really work with, with keeping fish because part of the joy of, of, of the whole hobby is then sitting down and watching your fish. And so having your attention on these incredible, you know, on these incredible creatures is is all part of the of the process and that's that that speaks to attention span having an attention span which a lot of the kids are are just simply not not demonstrating that much so attention span persistence along uh, along a course of action that may be met with obstacles and then overcoming those obstacles to achieve the desired outcome so so valuable right and Again, something that can be learned by, by keeping aquariums. Probably the last one on the list would have to be the pride of accomplishment. You know, having that, that, high, that sense of pride, that high morale, that, 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 that great feeling of, look what I did with my hands, look what I created, look what I brought about from bags of substrate and, 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 uh, and nothing, you know, a glass box and some bags of substrate. Look at what we have and this sort of pride that, and that's, that's important. That's important, even if the kids, four, five, six, some sense of accomplishment that they, that they feel really good about and, and is, is so important in today's world where, uh, you know, it, it, that's just, it's just sort of lost, right? So, at any rate, what do you think? What do you think is the role of this hobby? Or what role do you think this hobby could play with, with today's children, the direction that you see today's children going in, uh, what you see demonstrated in today's children, how, how could this hobby actually help to enhance their life? I'd be curious to hear what you have to say and maybe what you've observed as a parent in, 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 in interacting with your children with regards to this hobby. I'd be curious in the comments below. All right, so uh, there you have it. Those are my reasons why I think fish keeping is more valuable than ever for, uh, for children and for parents and children to participate in together. And if you enjoyed that, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you on Saturday for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. That's every Saturday from 11 a.m. till about noon. That's Central Time, that's noon Eastern, 
9 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Central. And if you'd like to support this channel, consider becoming a, uh, a Patreon. That's a monthly, a monthly supporter. It starts with as little as, as $3 a month. The uh, details are included in a video. I'll put a link up here for it. All right. And if you'd like to hear my, uh, my best tips on fish keeping, uh, check out this playlist right, right here. And on some tips on water changes, check out this playlist right here. And if you'd like to subscribe, hit me in the mug right here. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's it for me. Bye-bye.